Hello everybody, in this video we will walk through the basics of using Securely Classroom to monitor and manage student devices during class. So we're going to start out here at securely.com and we're going to go to login and click on classroom and you will see our dashboard here and you can see that I have quite a number of classes but that's because I am an, an admin so I'm going to narrow this down and just view the manual classes so I can view this test class that I created. When you're ready to start a class um, you can just click start. There's also an option to go into class settings and we'll get into that a little bit later. So to, before starting the class I can set the duration of my class or when I want it to end. There's also a few options here on the left. Um, close all open tabs is nice if a uh, student may have maybe on their Chromebook already have a number of tabs open. You can actually close them all so uh, you can start nice and clean uh, for class. I'm going to click start session over here and we can view my students' screens. I only have one student in this class, but the same will apply. You'll see more across your dashboard if you have more students. Uh, we'll start with just the, the easiest uh, option, which is locking the screen. So if you're ready to start class and you just want to lock your class's screens so they have to focus on you, I can click that lock option. And you can see now it says teacher locked your screen on uh, the student's Chromebook. But maybe I would rather push a URL to them. So I can either push a group of URLs here that I would create. Um, I can create one manually. Say I want them to go somewhere. Um, I can direct them over to Canvas. Um, and now, because my screen's still locked, I might have to unlock that first. And you can see that it pushed them into Canvas there. I could also lock them onto a screen because right now, even though I pushed that URL, they can switch back to other things. As you can see, our student switched back to YouTube. But I could lock them into Canvas if I'd like them to. Let's say I just want to and now you can see this lock icon. They are going to be locked into Canvas. So the student if the student tries to switch tabs, it will actually tell them that the device will not let them go to that site right now. And again, I can release that site lock right there. Now we have a couple options here when we're viewing our class. We can see our grid view which is the normal view. We could also view them as groups. Um, there is a list view. Um, it's not quite as useful but there is a thumbnail and tabs. You can see now I can see all of the thumbnails of the icons that the, the student has open but I could also view all of their tabs. That's useful because sometimes students like to switch things back and forth when you're not looking. So you can actually see I have a book report tab here, but they're not on that book report tab. They are still just, well, right now on Canvas, but you know, that kid was going back and viewing YouTube a lot. So, and there they are. So if I wanted to monitor the individual screen, I can actually click on this student. Now, you notice that the, the dashboard view, the card view, shows, it, it'll update every few seconds. Um, this is a live feed now into the individual student. And we can see all the tabs that they have open over here. I can save their screen, so I can take a screenshot right here. I have the same options with uh, locking the screen, site lock, pushing a URL. I can send them an announcement and then I can release any locks that I have in place. I could view this full screen. I could send a, a screenshot straight to the printer. Um, but all of these are, are nice to manage or assist um, individual students. 
So as you can see, Securely's classroom is pretty simple. Um, there are a lot of more advanced features. We said we have class settings here. We can add groups. We can add a seating chart. Um, we could also create block lists. So if you have a set of um, websites that you don't want students to get to at all, and whenever they're in your class, whenever you start Securely Classroom, then you can create that here. And you can create it as the default plan for the class. And that way you never have to worry about students being on things that you don't want them to be on. That's about it. Uh, the class will end automatically, or if you're ready to end the class, you can actually stop the class here. And that's it for Securely Classroom. Thanks.